Okay, we're gonna do air brakes. First thing you're gonna do is put the key in your pocket. You're gonna grab the chocks and chalk your wheels. You're gonna get in with three points of contact. Make sure your seatbelt's not torn, cut, or frayed, and it latches and unlatches. Then you'll ask the examiner to put on theirs. Next thing we're gonna do is a safe start. So our seatbelt's on, tractor's in neutral, and our brakes are set. I'm gonna turn the key to the on position, let my gauges cycle, and my ABS lights are gonna turn on and turn off. Okay, and then we're gonna start the vehicle. Now what I'm looking for is both my primary and secondary air gauges to be charged between 120 and 125 PSI. At that point, the governor will cut out and you'll hear a sneeze. If you want to speed up the process, you can give it a little bit of RPMs and the governor will kick in a little faster. There's the sneeze, so the governor cut out between 120 and 125 PSI. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the engine off, turn the key back to the on position so my gauges work, and I'm gonna roll down my windows. Now I'm gonna push in my tractor and trailer knobs. I'm gonna let everything settle. I'm listening for any air leaks outside the window. After everything settles, right here, I'm gonna ask the examiner to start their timer. And within 60 seconds, I don't wanna lose more than three PSI. Okay, we'll say 60 seconds is up. I didn't lose more than three PSI, so that was a good test. Now I'm gonna move on to the next test. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply brake pressure, light brake pressure for 60 seconds. I'm looking to not lose more than four PSI within 60 seconds. Again, I'll ask the examiner to start their timer. Okay, we'll say 60 seconds is up. I didn't lose more than four PSI, so that was good. Next test I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pump the brakes down. What I'm looking for is at or before 60 PSI. My warning light and buzzer should come on. Okay, warning light and buzzers came on at or before 60 PSI, so that was a good test. Now I'm gonna continue to pump the brakes down. Between 20 and 40, I'm looking for both my tractor and trailer valves to pop out. All right, they both popped out between 20 and 40, so that was a good test. Now I'm gonna take the key out, take my seatbelt off, and I'm gonna get out and grab my chocks. Three points of contact out. Put my chalks away. I'm gonna get back in with three points of contact. Okay, I'm gonna perform a safe start. So my seat belt's on, my tractor's in neutral, and my brakes are set. Now I'm gonna turn the key to the on position, let my gauges cycle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start the vehicle. I'm gonna rev up to about 1500 RPM. What I'm looking for here is when both my primary and secondary hit 80 PSI, I'm gonna start a timer and within 45 seconds, it needs to be to 100.
Detroit Secondary are approaching 80, so I'm going to ask the examiner to start their timer. Within 45 seconds, I need to be at 100 PSI. Okay, I'm at 100 PSI, so that was a good test. Next test I'm going to do is my tug test. So I'm going to apply light brake pressure. I'm going to put the tractor in drive. And I'm going to release my trailer brake. And I'm going to have my tractor brake pulled out, which is set. So now I'm both hands on the wheel. I'm going to let off the brake. And I'm going to give it light throttle. And I'm going to tug forward in drive to make sure my tractor brake holds. Okay. Tractor brake held, so that was a good test. Now I'm gonna reverse the process. I'm gonna set my trailer brake, and I'm gonna push in my tractor brake. So now my tractor brake is released, and I'm tugging on my trailer brake. Both hands on the wheel, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna give it light throttle, and make sure my trailer brakes hold. Okay, trailer brakes held, so that was a good test. Now I'm gonna push them both in. With both of the brakes released, with both hands on the steering wheel, I'm gonna pull forward between three and five miles an hour and I'm gonna to come to a stop. And what I'm looking for when I stop is that the steering wheel doesn't pull left or right, which would indicate a suspension or air leak issue. Okay, it didn't pull left or right, so that was a good test. Now I'm gonna put the truck back in neutral. I'm gonna set my brakes and that concludes my air brakes test.